FM. Welcome to Tools Day, December 7th. We're exactly one month from my birthday. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. How time just has a way of moving so quickly, and before you know it, you didn't think you'd be here on December 7th, but here, here we are. hope that whatever you're doing today you're having a good week waking up every day deciding to have a good day no matter what's going on nothing is yet set in stone a new romantic cycle begins a new start is coming Wow! <laughs> Got two new moons here. The new moon in Libra and the new moon, new moon, and the mutable moon. Nothing yet is set in stone, which means uh, this card forever for me is going to remind me of the um, the quarter game um, that's like a slide that pivots from like the central point where you, where you put the quarter in, and depending on where you put it, um, the quarter will land... And then there's also, like, this, like, shoving sort of, like, lever um, at the back of the machine. Um, so this is a, a, a testing of commitment, but uh, more so just that you may not realize it, but you have a little bit of flexibility to choose. A new romantic cycle begins and a new start is coming. So this may be a very good time to set some intentions. Set some intentions because nothing is yet set in stone. You may think that you have one of two choices, uh, but there may be a lot more than that that you're not seeing. So I would say focus on the feeling of that intention not that I want a new partner, right, if this is a romantic cycle read, but what does it feel like to be with them? Or if you get your eyes on somebody, don't think of that specific person, but more of the qualities of the person, your ideal person. You see how just like focusing on, on, the, um, on the feeling of something can also really widen opportunity? It leaves you more open. Um, that's been coming up a lot in the previous reads about the, the openness, the adventurousness of Sagittarius that's here through the uh, eclipse that was on Friday, I mean Saturday. So how can you practice being more open? A new start is coming. Set some intentions. What are your intentions for this new cycle? The Empress. Something, wanting to nurture something. Something is growing. Justice. There's Libra again. New Moon Libra, you got Justice Libra. Tower. Spring. Uh, so, so in the recent past, there might have been something you've tried to balance out. Um, by dismantling it totally, letting it fall apart totally so that you can have a fresh start. Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. I see somebody here in the present moment um, working on themselves somehow, like either through like some daily routines taking some diligent steps towards towards em towards this empress you know this this nurturing before coming together with community or working towards something in their community let's see there's community again ah and two shadow cards i've been waiting to show you the shadow cards this is the old tree and sasquatch <clears throat> The old tree is a reminder that, yes, wisdom is good and knowledge is good, but too much of it 
can make you rigid and inflexible like this tree. So here's this message, right? Nothing is yet set in stone. This old tree is set in stone. So there's a reminder here to be a little bit more flexible. Like, do you know what you know, really? Like, why do you know that? How are you measuring your, your truth? Not your truth. If it's been some time, then like things are different because do you still know what you know? Wild is good. And then the, so Sasquatch then is wild is good, but how much is too, too wild? So that's what I see this message here. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. Set your intentions. Don't just sort of like walk into something all wild like. Maybe you do feel wild about somebody right now. Um, that's showing up in the future, but the Knight of Pentacles is saying, take some concrete steps. Don't just wing it. Like, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving knight, but he is so hard working. He's sort of like doing, he's checking all the boxes before, before, you know, offering this to somebody else. This is the Three of Pentacles, which is all about community and collaboration, growth. I love that it shows up in the present moment because we also have the Empress growth and also a number three card. Somebody is growing and changing. But you see how it's through self-assessment, judgment. Where are you right now? That's the judgment card for, card for me is, is sort of like holding up a mirror to oneself. Like you're looking at your, um, you're looking at yourself and your life from a very practical sort of lens. Like, what am I doing here? This is what I'm feeling. This is so that's why in the past there's this wanting to, wanting something to be brought to justice. We have justice libra wanting to balance something out and maybe to make a move towards balance something needed to drastically end. I, I love this tower and spring. Spring is new life. And the tower is a sudden upheaval. The tower reminds us that we build new things on the bones of the old like it may feel like everything you've worked towards in the last few years has is falling apart like the structure of your life is coming undone uh, but this is actually a very beautiful thing because if you want growth why are you why are you anticipating that you can stay where you are exactly and keep growing that's why we have the message of of the wild and the Sasquatch and the, and the old tree. If you stay in the same place too long, you don't even know what's out there. I just realized there's a whole, there's another three. The three of cups. This is about celebration, community again. The three of cups is often referred to as the next holiday, like if it's timing card. I don't know if that's what's happening here. Let's clarify. The Empress. Oh. The Seven of Cups. Confusion? Yeah. Or dream something something dreamy, something choices. If, you, if this is resonating for you that you've recently decided wherever you are right now is not right for you, what you're feeling right now is this, this inspiration to grow, like you know you have to grow into something different, uh, but now there's like all these choices of like where to go or what to pursue. That's why it's the quarter game. <laughs> um, 
where do you put the quarters so that you get the largest payout, right? Like the growth. Profit, profit. I've been watching Deep Space Nine. There's like a lot of Ferengi in that one. And they all, they talk, all they talk about is profit. Profit first. Imagine the profits. Profit, profit. Profit, like prophetic. That's interesting. Let's keep going. Um, justice. Libra. The Five of Swords. Yeah. So something has become uncomfortable for you. Something, if you've decided to move on from something, it's because it, it is number five, something that's had been very uncomfortable for you and decided finally, like, you've gotten the courage to finally stand up for yourself or stand up for, for the situation and, and say, this is not for me anymore. That's okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. Like, you are not losing time by deciding feeling like you're deciding now that all of a sudden I need to move in a different direction. It's likely, this feels like, like lessons here, like if you were in, if you were in this other situation, if you, for what felt like too long, there's things you can take from, from that situation into the future, so don't, don't be feeling ungrateful just yet, don't, don't be quick to, hmm. But it is about finding balance. So, like, release the past and, and let's move forward. Nothing is yet set in stone. You get to choose. These are, this is all about choices here. And uh, I'd say it's also about bravery. All right, tower. Page of Wands. Burst of inspiration. The seed of inspiration. Uh, absolutely. You know things are falling apart, but it's not discouraging you. Uh, and then for spring, we have the King of Cups. I love that. If, if you're the King of Cups, you're feeling very stable in this decision. Like, there, there, this, you may be in the middle of a storm, but the thing about the King of Cups is that he is unshakable. No storm will shake him. He'll weather anything. Extremely, extremely solid... Uh, Emotionally stable. In the recent past. So that's what I see. You've been building yourself up to the point to break free from a, a particular situation. Maybe with a Libra. I see Libra. I mean, mostly. Um, Empress. That's Venus. Got to work on my planets and my signs here. Let's uh, let's keep moving forward and clarify judgment. Nine of Wands. Strength, Leo. Oh, that's so nice. So, in the present moment, judgment is clarified by the Nine of Wands. Knight of Pentacles is clarified by strength. And the Three of Pentacles is clarified by the lovers. Um, I get the sense that this is for somebody who is really approaching this and seeing seeing something very clearly for the first time where it's like you see yourself there's like the self assessment that goes on and you're sort of because because you're tired of doing things the way you've always done them there's like this very tired energy but there but this is also indicative that it is you are so close you're so close to something here some kind of balance the lovers card is balance and it's here so you're finding that through some kind of compassion for yourself. You're, this is not the way of the sword, but the way of the stream, if you will. That's from a game I play. The way of the stream. I love that the otters are in a stream. Isn't this card so cute? So this is what I got. These were the clarifications. You see how it goes? 
someone who's very tired from this journey, <laughs> from this, this, this needing to do the self-assessment work, the assessment work of why am I here and where am I going? Who am I? Where am I supposed to be? The energy of strength, the Leo, that's the heart. That's the heart space. There's just somebody, and because we have the King of Cups here, which is, again, our, our feelings, you know, and our, and our being in our feelings, someone is feeling something very intensely on the inside, uh, but on the outside is being very practical about it. So I just, that's, that's um, a lot of kudos right there because that is, that is exhausting. Um, oh man. Takes a lot of strength to find balance within yourself, not looking anywhere else but inside. And then once you have that inside of you, you can offer it to somebody else. That's why the lovers is clarifying this three of pentacles. It's like do it for yourself first and then do it for somebody then then you can offer it to somebody else. Offer it to your community. The lovers is also a choice card. So we have the choice, we have the seven of cups, we have the lovers, choices. So uh, these are both appearing uh, both underneath and in the present. So maybe this is about wanting to find your tribe. Like, where are you going? What direction will you choose? Um... Whatever you choose, it's not going to feel forced. Like, you are, there is going to be some discipline on your end. Um, if at the very least, you know, this like re, <clears throat> this continuous commitment, like within yourself to move in a certain direction, like you're going to just keep moving forward. But then you might just fall into a situation. You might, like, huh. Uh, let's clarify the old tree. Two came out. Wise. So we have the two of cups and the nine of wands. Sorry, the six of wands. The nine already came out, which is a victory. So this is clarifying the old tree. This is like, do you know what you know? I th um, do you know what you know? Is the truth really the truth? Is wisdom holding you back? Is, is, is your knowledge or perception of the world or the situation holding you back in some way? I feel like the Two of Cups is the truth of the soul's exchange. So like if you're not... If um, there might be something here in the future about um, coming face to face with this situation, uh, but also then needing to be very honest about it. Um, public acknowledgement is also um, here in this card. Um, to me, that's the feeling of you know and they know. You know and they know what's true about the situation. Or you know and they know that they that your your story is based on an old truth or something like that. Three of Cups. Transition. Oh yeah. There is a propensity here, like there's energy that's moving sort of towards honesty, towards, and I mean honesty in like, not like that there's secrets or lies or deception showing up, but just that there is more like laying it out. There's more, there's a lot of water here. The King of Cups, 
the lover I love the just how much water there is in this lover's card the three of cups the six of swords this transition this moving a transit like literally moving changing your mind this is so if the swords are, are cognitive we're you're going more from oh my leaving the tree to be more honest what is the truth of the situation what is the real truth not what you perceive as the truth what is the real truth <clears throat> This might be um, this might be more of like an information gathering reading. It says nothing is yet set in stone. So if there's confusion about how to make something grow, how to find growth within yourself, um, where to put your your nurturing energy that you seem to have here. And this stability is giving you the power to deal with this very difficult situation. Let's clarify um, Sasquatch. The King of Pentacles. <clears throat> Um, I'll say this about this, like, whatever is showing up here in the future. It's very bizarre, but, like, because we have the three, the two and the three of cups, to me, this is all about, again, sharing your true self with others. Like, what is your truth? You, you, you should get that out in the open, because if you're, you're trying to, like, make a decision, you need to... Um, not have anything holding you back. This, this is like really resonating with yesterday's read of like, don't let the past hold you back. If there's something, um, a, a belief system or some way of operating that, that has gotten you to where you are now, that's no longer, it's either no longer going to serve you or it's just not going to help you make the best decision in the immediate future. I mean, there's no wrong decisions, really, but, you know, some decisions lead to, like, the repeating of cycles or, like, the repeating of lessons. I feel that there needs to be, like, a radical step towards um, community, sharing, again, sharing one true self with others, like, um, something about, there's some sort of transit on the holiday I don't know if that is a timing position. I'll have to look into that. The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is clarifying Sasquatch card. If, if there's a situation you're thinking about right now, um, I would say that it's something that makes you feel a little bit crazy. Like, am I crazy for thinking that this could be my King of Pentacles, that this could be where my stability lies, that this could be... Um, what I'm aiming for, like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is this my chosen career? Like, is this, is this my dream job? I feel like you'll only know if you get out of the current situation that you're in, whether that's a physical space and you're planning on moving somewhere or, um, mentally you've sort of like totally moved on from a previous situation there is this need to get um, balanced within yourself and it is a tiring process but um, it, said, it shows here that this is happening right now so either you've already been doing this um, or you are doing it now and it's, it's a process that is pretty close to completion so I think you should stick it out. I think you should definitely stick it out and try to remain in this King of Cups energy. Whenever you leave the King of Cups energy, um, 
as in you start to feel uh, drained or emotional again or like you can't you know uneven footing like you, like you you're feeling like you're going backwards then I would say take some time alone to reassess again how to get back into that let's read these moon cards the mutable moon nothing is yet set in stone I know that the best will unfold for me you're meandering towards your goal and that's okay yeah that's totally what it felt like there because the king of cut the king of uh, Pentacles showed up at the very end but everything in between was like um, I don't want to say self-doubt but just a lot of oh my god who am I and why am I here and what am I doing <laughs> staying adaptable is the key to success for you now make sure you're not being led astray have you become distracted time to focus that's that king uh, sorry the knight of Pentacles energy in the very middle there's a self assess period of self-assessment and then there's almost like someone made a checklist or a plan of, um, or like a morning routine, like something to do every day that they wake up, like um, take your vitamins, um, don't look at your phone, like s someone is making a very structured plan how to get out of um, their current situation. Uh, stay with it, whatever it means to you. Uh huh. So, whatever situation you're thinking about, it's far from finalized. There is nothing here that is. There, this is a new energy. This is something is br brand new, new intentions. So, so the nine of wands that showed up earlier was not indicating that th this is something that's you're almost there. Like you're almost, maybe you're almost there in the sense of like you've almost got it figured out. Like how to make the plan, how to make a checklist. What is it that you want? Like, what is it even that you want? Um, the situation is a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is yet set in stone. Um, yep. Yep. That's a little bit like bumpy energy right there. Then we got new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Attune to the moon. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more, think less. Yes. You see how the king of cups was over there? Feel more, think less. Marriage or engagement is on the cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise can be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. I love that because like nothing is set in stone. It's a negotiation. There's a restart for you or for someone else. And for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning and if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection and anything you do after pulling this card doing it in pairs is advised such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life mm. avoid being selfish it won't get you anywhere at this time okay so what's new that's starting in your life um might be this is what might might be lending this energy to this reading let's see new moon new moon a new start is coming there is a yes coming your way it's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing the situation you're asking about is blessed you are on target to achieve your goals so this is a highly positive um, feeling for this card. If you've been feeling stag stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes in cycles and you're moving in a new cycle now. Wipe the slate clean. So um, you will start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. A new start is on its way. And then attuned to the moon is 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I misread that. I thought it said, I'll believe it when I see it. But what it really says is, I'll see it when I believe it. This is about, this spread has been for somebody who is who has had some sort of like major goal shift. They no longer want to be where they are. They understand that there's something uh, better out there for them. But the first step is to really believe that this new start is possible. Um, and to get very specific about what it looks like, what it feels like for, for them to be in this new situation. And then do your part your checklist, your whatever, your diligence, Knight of Pentacles in the middle, and watch the rest unfold. That's it. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching.